Hey, this is Jim with Diesel Geek, and today we're going to look at the Mark 7 shift box. Um, the Mark 7 shift box is the same with all the Mark 7 cars, and this is it right here. It's all plastic, which some people might think is a negative, but the parts are actually really pretty nice. Um, the only problem with the box is the fits between the parts. Um, there's a little bit of slop, uh, actually a good deal of slop here and here and this is for the side to side direction. Right now I have the transmission, I have an old throw down five speed transmission uh, hooked up to these cables and it's locked into the home position so nothing up there is moving and so in the side to side position, in the side to side um, movement you can see that you know when I move the stick side to side that there's a whole lot of slop in the system and it's not the problem with the parts it's just the fits of the parts so um, we have slop here and we have slop here and so what we've done is we've remade this pin um, to take out the slop at the pivot point so to remove the the uh, this stock plastic pin you just uh, get to this the passenger side of the car and you're gonna be doing this from the passenger side but you just take a needle nose and these little ears right here have to be bent in they're they're little catches top and bottom and so you bend the catches in and then push and it'll it'll push out and let's see here so the catch is done you just pull pull the pin out and you can see the pin um, the body is undersized and it's got these little springs you know eight little springs that kind of keep the pin centered and that's all you're banking on to keep uh, slop out of this pivot and it doesn't work so you just put this off to the side and here's our pivot pin. Um, it's all precision tolerances. It's you know good fits through all the whole you know the whole pivot tube. So to put this in, you just uh, slide it in, and this takes. Just push it in, and on the passenger side you can see the pin there, and so we have a screw, a little Phillips head screw, and it's going to have Loctite on it, and you want to put the washer down near the tip, and then that washer slips in there, and you're going to, but with your fingers, you're going to get it started into the end of the super pin, and then just finish it. And there's not there's not a whole lot of load that's trying to pull this pin out. The the load on the pin is front you know front to back. So <clears throat> this this screw it will have blue Loctite on it just to keep it the, the pin from backing out. But now we've replaced the stock pin with the super pin, and if we go do this, we can see that almost all the slop is gone from the pivot. Um, you can see it just barely moves up here now, and all the movement is right here um, where our first gear getter would normally be. That's where the movement is. So we'll, we'll tackle that in the next video, but uh, for now, that's it.